Hi everyone. Um, about a week or two ago, I did a video about how to power a DC brushless fan from the Arduino. Um, now, the thing is about this fan is that it's a 12 volt fan and it's 330 milliamps. That's how much current it, it takes. So you can't really power this through the Arduino. It's got to be powered through an external power source. And I explained in that video about how you can do this. But that video was only about how to switch power on or off to or from this fan. And somebody asked me a good question. They said, why don't you do a video on being able to control the fan speed rather than just switch it on and off? And I thought, well, that's a good idea. So, in the very, in the very last video that I did, it was about PWM. And this video is going to extend on that PWM video and also extend on the previous uh, fan control video. So now I'm going to show you how you can control the fan speed using the Arduino. Now to do that we'll be using PWM which is pulse width modulation. Okay so what do we need to be able to do this? Right, well this is what we need. We need, I'll just move this out of the way for now. Of course you need the Arduino, the UART or if you're using a different one you may not need the UART. That's up to you, but for me, I'm using the Pro Mini and a UART. You need a breadboard. You need, of course, the fan. You need some jumper leads. I'm using one, two, three, four. Um, you could do with a voltmeter and um, whatever clips you need with that, depending on how you're doing it. I'm going to use these two clips. You need a power supply unit, of course, which is going to it has to be able to deliver 12 volts depending on what the fan is. Of course this is a 12 volt fan so it needs 12 volts. And this will take 330 milliamps and therefore you will need a, a power supply that can deliver that. Okay. This is a 1K resistor. And I'm going to um, explain why you need this in a minute. Well, or where you're going to need it in a minute rather. But for now, suffice to say, it's to reduce current going from the Arduino um, so that's what that's for that's so that's 1k I'm going to be using now you don't have to do this but I'm going to be using one of these and this is a 100 microfarad 16 volt capacitor various capacitors will do and you don't actually need one but it's a bit nicer if you do use one and finally a transistor now this is just a general purpose transistor. It's called C1815. It's a transist. It's just a basic transistor, and uh, this is what what we're going to be using. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we've got the Arduino and the UART, or you might have something else, but so set that up. Then the transistor. I'm going to push the transistor in at the back here, so the transistor's in there. So I need to tell you about the pins now. In this particular transistor, these pins are emitter, collector and base. And the idea is, of course, you feed some voltage to the base and it basically shorts the collector and the emitter together. Alright, now I'm going to put the capacitor, um, it doesn't matter too much, but I'm going to keep I'm going to keep it right and put the negative terminal to the emitter. And I'll just push this in here just in front of the transistor. Right, I'll tell you a bit more about what that's for now. You know the rises and falls of PWM. They're a bit sharp for the fan and uh, it just smooths them out a little bit. It just gets rid of noise. Maybe I'll demonstrate that in a second anyway. So the capacitor's in. Now we want a resistor from, let's say, let's just bend this, let's say pin 10 to base. Yeah, pin 10 to base. This is a new breadboard and it's really stiff. Now, pin 10 is going to feed the base of the transistor. Let's move that up again. Yeah, pin 10 is going to feed the base of the transistor. So when voltage goes across pin 10 through the resistor, then the base will 
cause the collector and the emitter to short together and when they short together it's going to basically close a circuit right now this circuit is going to be of course the fan so now I'll just get the fan and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the red the red side and connect that to my uh, plus terminal which is here of the power supply unit I'll just push that in there and push the pin in there like that okay so you can see that the red is connected to the red and now the ground I'm going to connect the emitter to the negative of the power supply like that And finally, I'm going to connect the negative of the fan, which is this one, to the collector, which is this one. Right. Okay, so that's what's happening here. Now I'll just move across so you can see the fan. And I'll zoom out so you can see what the overall picture. Okay, so you should be able to see what's going on now. And also, I'm going to connect my voltmeter. And my voltmeter is going to be connected to the pins of the Arduino, or two pins of the Arduino in it. I'll just turn this on. So I'm going to connect one to pin 10. And I'm going to connect the other to ground. Oops. Be useful if you use the correct polarity there. Correct colours. Black to ground and red to the plus. And I'll just connect my voltmeter to those. Red to red and black to black. Right. Right, now it's time for me to create a sketch, I think. Right, just before I do though, I'll just tell you that I've got my power supply connected, of course, now, and it's set to 13 volt which is above really what the uh, fan specified for, but it'll be fine. So 13 volts, it's all connected. Now I just need to write a sketch. Um, and I'll show you this now. Let's plug this in. I've actually forgotten to add one very important thing. Um, we also need to connect ground on the Arduino to the emitter. Okay. Right. Now over to the sketch.